assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and having good health so today we are going to start the lecture that is second unit of the concentration which is called as the molarity of the solution so this we called as the molarity it is the second unit of concentration as we can denote the concentration of the solution with the help of percentage as well as the molarity so molarity we call it as by definition we can write it as the number of moles of solute that are present in the concentration of solution that is in decimeter cube so the number of moles of solute that are present per dm cube of the solution it is known as the molarity of the solution and here we have the molarity we can denote it with the capital m where the capital m it is the simple molarity of the solution so this solution is very important for all the chemical calculations that we need or that we need to prepare the different kinds of the solutions so dm cube it is the total concentration of the solution or the unit that we use it is the decimeter cube for example if the solution we have in the centimeter cube we can convert it into the dm cube by dividing it with the 1000 so it will be converted into the dm cube so this is mainly the concentration of the solution so we have molarity it is very important unit for the measurement of the concentration of the solutions next we have the mathematical form for the molarity molarity as it is denoted by the capital m and it is equal to number of moles and the number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution and volume of solution must be in decimeter cube so this is a simple formula that how we can find the molarity before the use of this formula we must have the number of moles now how we can be able to find the number of moles the formula to find the number of moles we have moles basically it is equal to mass of substance in grams divided by molar mass when we divide the mass of the substance present in grams with the molar mass then we can be able to find the number of moles so here the mass in grams of the substance it will be given and the molar mass of the substance that we need to find how we can find that molar mass we can add the atomic masses atomic masses of all the atoms by adding the atomic masses of all the atoms we may be able to find the molar mass and when we have both these value we can easily find the number of moles and we can find the number of moles and by using these number of moles we can easily find the molarity of the solution by putting up these values in the formula next we have the first one example that how we can find the molarity for your convenience i have just wrote here the one example calculate the molarity of the solution that is containing 7.50 moles of calcium carbonate so here we have already moles and the volume of the solution is to enough water to make it 1.50 so here we have the given data we just need to simple calculate the molarity given data we have number of moles so here the number of moles for the solution we have 7.50 mole and here we have the volume of solution it is equal to 1.50 dm 
cube. So this is the volume of solution. Now by applying the formula and the formula for this we have it is very simple that molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by volume of solution that is in dm cube. So we have molarity by putting up the values the values we have moles it is 7.50 and divided by 1.50 so the answer that we have by dividing these values it is very simple and we can easily find that by dividing 7.50 with 1.50 and the answer we have it is 5 molar so the molarity of the solution will be 5 molar so this is a simple calculation that we can done to find the molarity of the solution and it is all about today's lecture and if you guys have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and I will get back to you guys soon and in the next topic we will discuss different problems that are related to the molarity for that time you guys have good day and a laugh face